Today on Be Something Wonderful, 3D reality seemed so solid and slow to change until now. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creatives, welcome back. Good morning. Big video comes from a session yesterday with this client that was asking me about 3D conditions and why do they seem so stubborn to change, right? She's been imagining and affirming, but she just feels like it's it, they're not changing. And, and we talked a lot about this. We really unpacked this. But remember, she's telling the story of those conditions that are slow to change and seem so solid, right? So she's creating a reality where they're slow to change or no change. That's part of it. And so I want to talk about that because we talked about the idea of the story or inner speech or inner talking in a powerful video on the membership channel yesterday, the, the video entitled Source Just Wants to Have Fun. And we also talked about a cool story, right, about, about this, this woman that, that uh, manifested a new guy in her life, right, had just come off her, a relationship, didn't want to be with this other guy that she just broke off with, that they, they just weren't having any fun. So she was, if you remember from yesterday's video, if you haven't seen it, that, that, um, that she was just telling the story of not having any fun. And, and so she just changed her story, right? And then f about five and a half weeks, maybe a, a little bit under that or more than that, I don't remember exactly, that, that uh, she, um, and we had a session yesterday, right? Because it was about five or maybe six, six weeks ago, five and a half weeks ago that we had talked. And she met somebody, but this is how she met it. She was just out with a friend. They were in like an arcade where they were shooting those, that, doing those things where you, where you throw the ball up and it goes in the holes and they were shooting hoops. And then they jumped together in a photo booth and a guy jumped in with them. And so, so I don't want, I'll talk more about this video, but anyway, they, 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 her friend jumped out and she stayed in and, they, and took pictures with this random guy. And so, and it was a big story and a very cool story that ended up in being a date with this guy. But remember, the photos came first. This is, the, this is, this is how you bend time, by telling that story. So the, so the guy said, well, now that we have the photos, I, the, the, I guess we should have a date or something like that. So I wanna, that's all, that's, we talked about that in yesterday's video, but I wanna, I wanna really bring up this idea of the story. Right? You're just telling a story that conditions, are seem, that conditions are real or they seem so slow. And that story is your entire reality. That's really what we touched on yesterday. To, and remember, that story or those conditions, that's your experience of you as source. Right? The, this is what Neville Goddard says about the conditions. The apparent reality of the outer world, which is so hard to dissolve, is only proof of the absolute reality of the inner world of imagination. I love this. Hear this again. The apparent reality of the outer world is so hard to dissolve that uh, the apparent reality of the outer world, which is so hard to dissolve, is only proof of the, of the absolute reality of the inner world of imagination. Do you hear it? So that's why it seems solid. It's that continuous imagining. You imagining really based on the past, whether that's the, the, the distant quote past or yesterday, right? We know that everything's happening now. But, but as you tell that story, that's why it seems so hard. But the good news is, as you imagine and tell a new story, new inner speech, new inner talking, that becomes proof now of your new world, of your new, of your new reality. Do you see that? I love this quote. The apparent reality of the outer world, which is so hard to dissolve, is only proof of the absolute reality of the inner world of imagination. So you have total control. Continuous imagination, Neville called it. Telling the same story and creating the invisible thread that links individual moments and frames together as your story. Remember, we talked about all images, all moments exist in creation. They're all happening now. There's only one moment in creation. And all of those slides, all of those frames of your reality all exist. It's your story that threads those individual or that invisible, that creates that invisible link or that invisible thread that, that links those images together and creates what you call your physical reality. 
But really, what is it? It's your experience of reality. That's powerful. So whenever inner speech and desire are in conflict, inner speech invariably wins. Neville got it. So whatever you're telling the story, whatever your inner speech is, whatever you're saying all day long to yourself and others, that, that if that's in conflict with your desire, your inner speech invariably, invariably wins. If it's in conflict with what you really want, right, what your wish fulfilled, your inner speech is going to win. But the good news is you can tell a new story like my client yesterday, right, it's decided just to have fun. Right. And, and she said, it, you know, it was five and a half weeks or whatever, but the time doesn't matter. She knew that. Right. And, and even the even the incident, yet, how he talked about it, the guy she met, it, it was really cool because it it was like a demonstration of bending time. Right. Him saying, well, we have the photograph, so I guess we should have a date. Right. So be more interested and fascinated in your new story your inner speech of how you would like things to be than the, than the events and conditions that currently seem to surround you. Do you see it? We're just more fascinated and interested in telling the old stories and pointing to the grievances, pointing how things went wrong or even right. But it doesn't matter. You're still telling the old story. If you want, you're still telling the story of that 0.00001% of already manifested reality. Even if it's great, why not tell the new story of the, it, it's something in that you had something in the unseen to make seen, right? That something in that 99.9% .9 that you haven't seen yet, be surrounded by the answer and enveloped by your desire. That's what, that's what we're talking about here. Remember in John 16, 23, 24, the original retranslation of the Aramaic text of the Bible talked about be surrounded by the answer and enveloped by your desire. Be surrounded by your new story, by your inner speech, right? The, what, how you desire things to be. Be more interested in what you are inwardly saying now than what you have said by choosing, that, than, than what you have said by choosing wisely what you think and what you feel now. Neville got it. In other words, tell your new story. Be more interested in what you are inwardly saying now than what you have said, your old story, by choosing wisely what you think and what you feel now. In other words, it's not about controlling your thoughts and feelings. It's about telling a new story from, from that place of truth within. This is really what we hit yesterday in a really fun video. So not, it's not about controlling your thoughts or avoiding your feelings, right? Resist nothing. Feel whatever you're going to feel, right? And then return to your new story. Right? What, feel whatever you feel, then let it go. Hold on to nothing, as A Course in Miracles says. I don't live there anymore, as one of my clients a, about a year ago came up with. Or I'm remembering it wrong, right? As, as the, as, like the movie Solaris, Chris Calvin said in Solaris, allow the invisible threads of that old story. In other words, the threads that you created by continuously imagining that old story, by continuously talking about it, linking independent moments and images together, in an unwanted reality, do you see the link here, those threads, to dissolve. Allow that to dissolve. It can dissolve just as easily as you remove your light from it, as you remove your story from it, right? Those invisible threads. Revise it, like it's, Neville talks about, the idea of revising events, of the idea about telling a new story of, of, of what happened. Right. Revise it how you would have liked to have seen it. Not only in events in the past, but right now, tell your new story. Revise it by telling the story of how you would have liked things to be if it's events that didn't that didn't that you didn't think that went your way. Right. The past or how you would like them to be the present. How would you like them to be now? That's ultimate revision. That that's next level revision. Right. Instead of even going back to that old story. Just tell the new story of how you would like it to be. Because that changes all time. That changes and rearranges all time. I want to show this today. So, when imagination matches your inner speech to fulfill desire, there will then be a straight path in yourself from without, from within, out. 
and the without will instantly reflect the within for you and you will know reality is only an actualized inner talking is only your story neville here is talking about the thread that i've been talking about as you thread those images together that invisible thread when imagination matches your inner speech when you are telling the story of how you would like things to be to fulfill desire to what you want to your imagined end there will then be a straight path in yourself from within out connected in that is connected by that invisible thread and the without will instantly reflect the within for you and you will know reality is only actualized inner talking it's only your story remember what neville says it is the frequency of the habitual occupancy that is the secret of success right he 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 goes on to say fancy assembles continuum and imagination fuses in other words it's not about pipe dreams or being delusional it's about you decide the facts you decide the stories you decide what creation is going to be you decide what reality is going to be fancy assembles those images right those images are assembled and then continue ima- continuous imagination fuses them with that thread right that thread that makes it into a new story that makes it a new reality right only it's only pipe dreams and delusional or 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 fancy right or only if you don't fuse with this new reality or state it's only if you don't fuse with it you create the images but you don't fuse it you don't create a reality you don't thread the images into a story about your life and create that reality that's powerful today I, we're looking at it a little bit new today in in, in some ways remember we we debunked linear time <laughs> right we think of linear time as a river going from the past present and future you're going up the river that's what it means to go up the river right so so remember though we're talking really about it's a that that time or infinity is a lake it's now it's all now and these lifelines or these film rolls or these scripts are being sent out like ripples on a lake from the present moment from the now moment right and creating new realities you're literally a reality generator but you some of you might be say well if creation's finished how am i a reality generator because creation's finished in potential all those realities exist and there's a version of you living those but it's only potential to you as you're focused in on your current reality on your current story when you tell a new story then you move to that reality and you send it out right but it's new in that moment because remember it's all potential until you think it assume it and, and live it right creating and lighting up new realities from the potential of all that is creation's finished in potential and yes all those realities are happening but they're potential to you until you send them out to you create them from here right those new ripples of past present and future events that's all happening now right with your mix of changing assumptions beliefs thoughts and feelings that's your story So the question is what story what inner speech in a talking are you telling right the one in linear time based on the past limitations your horizontal experience right that's your horizontal experience as we talked about that linear experience or instead based on now right your vertical experience imagination without limitation your vertical experience your story remember pushes out from the present moment of now and revises all time. Do you see it? You're here in the center of infinity, pushing out. That's what everyone is you pushed out means. You're pushing out this new story, new realities from telling this new story. It affects all time, not just the present and the future. Right? Remember um I showed the idea of of this idea of vertical, living vertically, like that client was talking about uh on one of my videos. living vertically there you are living vertically and there's the horizontal experience the horizontal timelines linear time the blue representing your current reality or lifeline that seems so solid and so so hot slow to change the current script the current story but it's all happening now and and it's just because you're telling that story that you keep seeing it right remember these dotted lines represent the parallel realities the potential realities all those realities exist right now creation's finished but as you tell the new story you're sending out ripples of life it looks parallel right we're showing it in parallel but really they're not parallel they're all within you and you're sending out your new story right now pushes out everyone is you pushed out rearranging events in all time Do you see it you're changing all of these events all realities in him we live and we move and have our being 
right? Remember, we talked about it in the membership video. Your source just wants to have fun. The, the, I just put up these. This, is a, this reminds me of those photo booths. I think she was in a photo booth like those old photo booths where you take those series of pictures and fun poses. Well, that's what she did with this guy who just jumped in there. Her friend jumped out and, and they had the photos. So he's saying, well, now that we have the photos, we should have the date. She collapsed time in space, right? She pushed out from that new story of having fun. Guys, I left the link below in case you want to see the video. Your story right now pushes out. Everyone should push out rearranging all events in time, rearranging all those slides, creating new threads, new threads of images that you're, that you're linking together to create your reality. Wow. 3D reality seems so solid and slow to change until now. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. We have a Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. You can join us there to share insight and guidance with others and ask for insight and guidance. Um, also, we have Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. We have a live stream coming uh, on, on May 21, Sunday, May 21, 2023 at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time right here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're going to go live. You're going to be live with me. Send your comments and your questions to info at besomethingwonderful.com ahead of time. This is going to be on the membership channel. There's a link below. This is the same... Uh, that's where that video that I was talking about earlier is. If you want to join that, you can. If you don't, guys, we're going to still, we're going to still hit many of those topics and we will eventually have a live stream on the public channel. Guys, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom with Be Something Wonderful. We'll see you soon.